Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and I've been waiting to do this. Um, I didn't get to do it when I did my banner review because some things came up, so I was unable to draw at that point. But I'm going to do my pulls for Aerith. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, basically, as I, as I said before, I think that this is a good weapon. It definitely is solid for people who like to use Aerith as their main healer. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make sure I've got everything set up right, which I don't think there's anything to set up in this card. As far as wish list goes, if you want to see it, for anybody who cares, this is what I'm going for. A couple of Sephiroth things, a Tifa Glove, Citric Wand, and Rose Musket for my fire team. Uh, that out of the way, I'm going to start doing some pulls. I'm prepared to go through two stamp cards unless my stamp luck is just abysmal. Starting off with a high one, always lovely. Okay, Tifa and Aerith could be a great start. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm okay with Citric Wand here. It is something that I, I do want. I also got another one of the uh, Shell Knuckles, which um, I think this is actually OB6. So I'm four parts away now from OB7. Would love to get, though, some of the staff because I really would like to get it to OB6 for that 70% uh, threshold. I think that's a pretty big deal. All right, looks like we got a Sephiroth. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the Bramble Sword. Uh, that is something I'm trying to build up for my Earth team. So, so far, I, even though I haven't gotten any copies, I would actually say that my luck is really good. I'm really happy with what I've been getting. This is my five star guaranteed. So I know I have just under 20% chance of hitting uh, the Aerith weapon. And I still miss it. Rose Musket, though, I'm getting all the wishlist stuff, and so, honestly, I'm not that worried about that. I just hope that the stamp luck is good, because I don't want to have to spend a whole lot of crystals to get this to, uh, to, to two pages cleared. My stamp luck, though, was really amazing last time, so I'm probably not in a position to complain, even if it goes poorly. This is my guaranteed copy. Also, another Tifa weapon? All right, but we knew we were getting this one, so that's uh, that's good. Nothing, uh, nothing unexpected. All right, Shell Knuckles. I, if this keeps going this way, I'm gonna have Shell Knuckles at OB10, which will be super cool for Magic Fire for me. And that's again why I'm getting uh, Rose Musket as well because of the magic and the fire. And that one has magic ability potency, which I feel like is very, very useful. Three stamps, I'm pretty happy about that. Need to see a few more of those to conserve the old crystals. And I'm, I'm hitting a good percentage of five stars. Man, and that's another Rose Musket. I'm hitting a good percentage of five stars, just not hitting any of the featured weapon, which is kind of odd because the rate is considerably higher than normal. Figured we had to miss one. We'll probably at least miss one or two more before this is over. So I can't uh, can't be too sad about that. We're gonna hit the costume on this next one. It's always a one stamp when you're finishing the first card, I feel. Would be nice to at least get one or two, two copies that weren't guaranteed. Would be really nice to hit. All right, that's the second one with no five stars. Kind of flushing out the the luck here, or at least balancing it, I guess is maybe a better way to put that. Down to 40,000 crystals after this pull. Another one. Uh, not, not amazing. All right, Sephiroth. And it's, uh, hey, you know what? 
This is uh, really helping the Earth set up. I only have this at OB1 right now, so this is now OB3. Uh, OB6 would be really good for my Earth team. Okay, finally got another three. I'm pretty happy with that. This will be the guaranteed. Still looking for a non-guaranteed copy though, just to help me actually try to have a chance of getting this to OB6. This is only the second copy, so this is OB1. Not going great. However, my cloud pulls also did not go super well until the end. I'm just hoping that, uh, okay, another three. Yes, I love seeing the pink chocobos. All right, this is a five-star guarantee. Hopefully this is a copy of the weapon. Not guaranteed it though, so fingers are crossed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I'm I'm hitting I'm hitting these uh, blue brambles like left and right, which honestly isn't the worst thing. I I do find this weapon though would be so much better at OB6 uh, for what I'm trying to accomplish. So this is I'm gonna need a lot of luck closing out the second card. All right, that's my next guaranteed copy. So now we're at OB2. Crystals are draining awfully fast. This probably is a one. Oh, it's a two. All right. That's a silver lining. Man, we're almost at the end of this page. Still haven't gotten a single non-guaranteed copy of the weapon. I'm going to watch this one play out. We're not guaranteed to hit a five, so... Maybe this is what turns it all around. Oh, man. Or maybe I'm just not supposed to have a uh, OB6 Bahamut Rod, and maybe it's just setting me up to crush it for my Tifa pulls. Oh, God. Not the greatest here. All right, well, it looks like we're gonna clear, we're gonna have 25,000 crystals left, which is eight pulls on Tifa's banner, plus I haven't used any of my red ones. I may go ahead and try the the featured 3,000 red crystal banner. And I can always come back to this if, I don't know, I don't, I don't see myself probably coming back to this. All right, well, Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not uh, not that big of a letdown. Uh, I'm not, you know, obviously it's it didn't go as well as I had hoped. Um, I think I've got enough for like OB three or four. Take a quick look here. Yeah, three. Three with a hundred left, so I could take it to OB4 with my weapon parts. I am going to... I'm going to go ahead and use 3,000 crystals. For this draw, it's a five-star guarantee, which means essentially a 19 point something percent chance that I hit it. When I did it on clouds, I got two copies of it. Um, I would be happy if I could pull one copy here. Two Aeriths! Two Aeriths! This could totally salvage my pulls, and I think if both of these were the weapon, uh, that would put me at OB5. Yeah, which, you know, obviously then I might think about uh, purchasing one just to have it. Oh my god! I got one, I got one, uh, and you know, Flora Wand's not the worst. Uh, honestly, I, I can't. I still can't be upset about this because this weapon here, even though I have it at OB6, I think, 6 or 7 at the moment, uh, this one has a max R ability on the attack. It's attack and wind potency, and the attack goes up to 62. So this really isn't a bad pull. And then also getting uh, one of Vincent's sawed-off GSs. 
uh, I'm I'm happy with that. I think that I can I can be really happy with that. Man, so tempting to <laughs> to try to spend some more of these red crystals because I'm in a weird place now where I have it at OB4 or at least uh, maybe 5. I can't even remember what I said. Yeah, I think 5. So that's where I'm going to stop for now. Um yeah, I've got enough to take it to four plus five with this. So that means I'm one away. Um, I, I might, I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on that right now because I think I'm looking at probably needing uh, 5,000 red crystals for a guaranteed one, which does not leave me with much for Tifa without having to buy more packs, which I would prefer not to have to do. So for now, those are the pulls. Um, I'm going to just say I got to OB4 with halfway to OB5. I think that's I think that's pretty solid. Uh, did spend quite a bit of crystals. I think we were I don't remember. I didn't even keep track of what I was at. Thanks for watching. I hope your pulls go great. Uh, if you do pull for this, I hope you get it to OB6. Unlike me, uh, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.